Hey guys, everyone. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Dark Spider David. <laughs> Hey guys, David here. Welcome to another redo review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Dark Knight Movie Masters figures. Here we got Movie Masters, the Dark Knight Batman, not the Batman Begins variant. And here we got the Joker. The Joker was one of the most, uh, at the time, the most valuable and the most rare figures of all. Right now, if you go to Toys R Us, you can find a bunch of them. <laughs> all right, so here, let me do Batman first. Here we have Batman. Now, before I get started, if you guys don't know what Movie Masters is, it's the second best toy line for the Dark Knight movie uh, or the Dark Knight movie figures uh, first being the Hot Toys Joker but then again they are very overpriced and they're very you know I can hardly I, I can't even afford them right now uh, so if you can't afford those I'm gonna have to settle for the Movie Master figures here we got Batman Batman is incredibly accurate I mean he's got his entire costume is down to the very the, to the tiniest detail that we actually see in the film like, for example, his head is incredibly sculpted. Let me... There you go. I mean, it even looks like Christian Bale. And even in the most dramatic lighting, such as, like, right here, for example, the lighting just makes it the more dynamic, and the sculpt is incredible. The accuracy is incredible as well. You got even the little design on his chest here. You even got the shoulder blades that he wears in the movie. You got the utility belt. You got, you know, all this incredible detail throughout, down to the very to the tiniest little thing. It's awesome. And they squeeze it all in a six inch figure. It can't get any better than that. As well as articulation. His articulation is amazing. He's got a joint right here in the bicep, right here on the shoulder. However, the mobility for his arms are a little bit limited due to the shoulder pads here. You got bend at the elbow. You got wrist swivels. You got a waist swivel. You got a joint right here in the mid torso. You could, you know. Give him that bending action. <laughs> However, you're going to mess around with the mid-torso joint. I say you got to be careful because sometimes I feel like I'm going to break him in half like I did with the first figure. But other than that, he's great. He's got mobility up here in the legs, at the top leg, at the lower thigh. He could bend at the knee, and you can move his foot. It would have been nice to have a boot swivel right here, but other than that, it's still cool. In terms of the bag, you got the cape. The cape is made out of this rubbery material. It would have been nice to have a cloth cape much like the original Batman figure that little action figure that was like a five and a half inch figure it would have been nice to give him a cloth cape that way he'd be a, a lot more realistic and a, a lot more accurate but other than that he still looks nice however some you know posability is limited due to the cape and it also makes him a little bit top heavy so positioning him is still fine you could get him in some great poses especially with the articulation but the cape could, you know, cause some problems. However, it could be beneficial at the same time. The cape, you know, if you put him in a certain pose like so, the cape will actually help him to stand up like that. So, yeah, the Batman figure, incredible. It's awesome. Also, the head is posed on this ball joint. You can move him, you know, 300, you could rotate it 360 degrees, and he could tilt slightly to the side, and he can move up and down ever so slightly. So, you could give him that, hmm? pose you know that's awesome Batman figure is incredible and I don't know there's no other word to describe it except for awesome I always wanted a Batman figure and this is it if I gotta have one this is one of them he comes with a weird accessory it's a little Batman mask it, it, it's a it's meant to go into the evidence bag and it does however at first I didn't know what it was for until somebody posted a comment saying that this is actually one of the masks that was removed from one of the copycats who were pretending to be Batman and helping him out. That made an awful lot of sense and I'm like yes that's what it's supposed to be. It really is quite accurate for a Batman you know knockoff mask I can tell you that. And what you're supposed to do is simply put it in the bag for display purposes for, for show. I don't like that. I just like leaving it out or just simply putting it back into the packaging. Alright, next I'll do Joker. Joker, like I said, was one of the most rare figures ever to hit the market simply because we all know what happened to Heath Ledger, unfortunately. But here we got Movie Master's Joker. He has less detail than the Batman figure and he is 
slightly less accurate than the Batman figure itself and even the Hot Toys Joker figures and all that. But still, he's, he has a nice representation of Heath Ledger's Joker performance. He's got great, uh, you know, the color scheme for some reason, it meshes together. The, the slight, you know, dark purple with the green, the green hair, the white makeup. Everything just fits together in terms of color. Articulation, not so good. He has a lot less points than Batman, I could tell you that. But then again, the Joker is a sophisticated character, and he's not meant to, you know, jump all over the place and punch people. Oh, he does punch eventually. But he's not meant to do that. He's a criminal mastermind. You don't need that much articulation. He's got, you know, the simple elbow, the top of the arm. You got some nice wrist swivels. His head, however, is positioned in a certain way where he's tilting his head. That is, you know, Joker right there where he's always tilting his head and staring at people. But it would have been nice if we could just simply give, you know, give him some free roaming joints for his head. And it would have made it ten times better. You got some good articulation here in the legs. However, he's got no waist swivel. Uh, I tried moving him, but I just felt like I was going to break him, so I said no. His coat is made of this rubbery material as well. It's pretty nice. It's pretty well sculpted. Uh, however, accuracy on his face is not so accurate, actually. I don't know. Like, I was expecting just a little bit more. He comes with a little blade or a little knife. I heard that the two-box set or the two-set box set, whatever the hell it's called, does not come with a knife. And that is true. I looked at it does not come with a knife. That is bogus because no knife, no joker. Uh, you can get these two in a box set, but like I said, you're risking not getting the knife. That is bogus. The joker figure, awesome. Not as awesome as the Batman figure in my opinion, but it's still great. His evidence, a joker card. Now this is nice if you want to do a joker skit. I'm planning on doing so, maybe in the future. It is a little bent for some reason, and it is made out of simple you know, cardboard or card you know yeah but still it looks nice it's accurate to the joker card that we see at the end of batman begins so i say keep this keep it out in case you want to do a joker skit and if you can go ahead and even put it in the evidence bag and it makes it look a lot more cooler and maybe even look like actual criminal evidence so that's it for the movie masters figure i give batman an 8.9 out of 10 a b plus i give joker uh, I'm going to have to say an 8.7 out of 10, which is also a B plus. Both are tremendous figures. They deserve to be in your collection. If you don't got them, go ahead and get them. You can still find them at Toys R Us. I went there. They have a bunch of Jokers, and they have a bunch of Batmans. They even got some more figures from the line, such as Scarecrow and Batman Begins Batman. They're all great figures. If the, all the other figures are as great as these, I say pick all of them up. That's it for this review, guys. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.